Politicians have never been strong between the Humane Society and those who raise chickens. We are aware that you are, po that, that you are raising chickens, but we feel that this is not okay. Here, ch ch chicken. Come and get it, babies. Eat it up, eat it up. Babies, babies, babies. However, we feel that you are posing a threat to the children of your neighborhood as well as their pets. We're sure you love the children of your neighborhood as much as we do. Get out of those tomatoes! Get out of them! I'm gonna call Sheriff Gibbons! Let me at them. Mrs. Burris, we have traced over 70 dog poisonings to your doorstep. Now, don't you think you've taken eccentricity a bit too far? <laughs> oh, they've left that poodle in my yard. I'll bet it's an egg sucker. Where is it? We feel that you have been a bit overzealous in the protection of your chickens. Where's my strict nine? Please to God don't tell me I'm out. In fact, Mrs. Burris, we feel that you have killed so many poodles, we must punish you soon. I'll kill Henry if he's in my strict nine. We are well aware of your bitter pills, those strychnine lace biscuits rolled into enticing little dough balls. Oh, I found it. Henry thought he'd be smart and hide it, but I found it. Now, I'm gonna kill me a poodle. <laughs> Where's my biscuits? I'm gonna make you a bitter pill. We are also aware that your husband Henry is the owner of Ripper, the finest bird dog in Dewey County. Now, how could anybody who lives around a $2,000 dog poison people, puppy so heartlessly? Here, puppy, puppy, puppy. Get over here, egg lips. Come here and get the bitter pill. You stay back, Ripper. It's not for you. You stay back. It's not for you, Ripper. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. Now, come on. I'll set it down right here. And you come and get it. Ripper, don't eat that! Oh, my God. <laughs> Ripper's eating the bitter pill. Mrs. Burris, you have classic symptoms of canicidal thumbitis, a psychological disorder that causes you to want to kill other people's dogs for real or imagined reasons. <laughs> oh, my God. I've poisoned Henry's bird dog. Oh. Look at him shake. <laughs> now the only known cure for canisidal thumbitis is to surround the patient with lots and lots of dogs until the urge to kill passes. Oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Think, bro. Think and think. <laughs> oh, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. I'll call Stanley and I'll have him drag this dog out in the road. We'll run over it with the Pontiac. <laughs> we'll just tell Henry he got hit by a car. And are you in luck, Mrs. Burris? The Humane Society has a one-way bus ticket to Dallas, to the Texas State Dog Fair, where you can be surrounded by over 4,000 dogs. That's what I'll do. I'll call Stanley. I can count on Stanley. And if you can get through the entire show without poisoning a single animal, the Humane Society will pay your bus fare home. Think, you can find peace of mind and the children of your neighborhood can have peace and respite from the death and carnage to which they have been subjected. Sincerely, Petey Fisk, Greater Tuna Humane Society. Hello, Stanley. This is Pearl. Get over here quick, I need you. I want you to kill Henry's bird dog. <laughs> Ripper. Uh-huh. Well, he's already dead. I killed him. <gasps> oh, well, Stanley, I know it's not as much fun running over a dead dog. But please, to God, get over here. I don't believe I can stand it. You're a good name. I'll see you in a few minutes. All right. Goodbye. Uh, I knew I could count on Stanley. Oh, and while he's over here, 
I'll have him carry me down to the funeral parlor so I can view old Judge Buckner. Oh, Lord, nothing would get me out in this heat except to see him dead. I just want to see for myself. Make for sure. Earl? Stanley, is that you? Come in, come in. Pearl, how come you poisoned Uncle Henry's bird dog? Oh, Stanley, don't you say that. I did it. It was an accident. I was after an egg-sucking poodle, and Ripper just came up and snatched that bitter pill. Why, hell, Pearl, I always kind of liked old Ripper. <laughs> well... You know, when Uncle Henry finds out you poisoned a $2,000 dog, he's going to have a conniption fit. Oh, Stanley, he'll scream like a banshee. Quick, drag that dog out the road. We'll run over it. Hell, Pearl, you're crazy. Oh, Stanley, don't you say that. I'm not. Oh, and Stanley, I want you to carry me down to the funeral parlor so I can view Judge Buckner. You can wait for me at the Tasty Cream. I'll buy you an ice cream cone. All right, Pearl, hurry up. I'm coming. Oh, come on, Pearl, hurry up. I don't want nobody to see this. Stanley, don't you rush me. I'm an old woman. 